Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about resetting your Raspberry Pi 4. Sometimes, things go wrong. Your Pi might become unstable. You might forget your password. Or maybe you just want to start fresh. Whatever the reason, resetting your Raspberry Pi is a good skill to have. Let's dive right in. 1. Understanding Reset Options There are a few ways to reset your Pi. We'll cover two main methods. The first is a soft reset. This is like restarting your computer. It keeps your data. The second is a full reinstall. This wipes everything. It's like a factory reset. We'll explore both. 2. Performing a soft reset. A soft reset is the easiest. Simply open the terminal on your Raspberry Pi. Type sudo reboot and press enter. The Pi will restart. This can fix minor issues. It's quick and simple. However, it doesn't solve all problems. If your Pi is completely frozen, this might not work. In that case, unplugging and plugging it back in will also do a soft reset. 3. Reinstalling the operating system, full reset this is the more drastic option. It will erase everything on your SD card. Make sure you have backed up any important data before proceeding. You'll need a computer and an SD card reader. First, download the Raspberry Pi Imager software. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Open the Raspberry Pi Imager. Select the operating system you want to install. You can choose Raspberry Pi OS, Ubuntu, or other options. Next, select your SD card. Be very careful to choose the correct card. All data on that card will be erased. Click right. The imager will download and install the operating system. This process might take some time. Once it's done, safely eject the SD card from your computer. Insert the SD card into your Raspberry Pi. Power on the Pi. It will boot into the new operating system. You'll need to set it up again. This includes setting your language, keyboard, and Wi-Fi. Remember to change the default password. This will help secure your Pi. That's it. You've successfully reinstalled the operating system. This should fix most software problems. For troubleshooting, sometimes, things still don't work. If the imager fails, try a different SD card. Ensure your computer has a stable internet connection. Double-check that you've selected the correct SD card and operating system. If your Pi won't boot after reinstalling, try flashing the SD card again. Sometimes, the process gets interrupted. A fresh flash can resolve the issue. I hope you found this guide helpful. Resetting your Raspberry Pi can seem daunting. But it's actually quite straightforward. With these steps, you should be able to get your Pi back up and running in no time. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing. Your support helps us create more content like this. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. We appreciate your feedback. See you in the next one.